Welcome back to my channel, I'm Sonia and I'm going to start off with my hair and I'm using these big rollers from Conair. You can find them at most drugstores including Target and even at Kohl's and JCPenney's. Now before we get into the makeup, don't forget to like, share, and also subscribe to my channel if you have not already and click on that bell to get notified when I upload new videos. Now into the makeup as our roller set. I'm going to be priming my face using the primer oil from Smashbox and I absolutely love oils. I don't know why I have not you know, dipped my toe in the oil pond. I absolutely love oil. It gives you a nice moisturized soft base for your liquid makeup. Now next I'm going to be using Dream Liquid Mousse in the shade number 40 from Maybelline New York and just blending that in using a moist beauty blender. Now if you have a favorite foundation, let me know in the comments down below so I can pick it up and review it for you guys here on my channel. Next we're going to be adding a little bit of Born This Way concealer in the shade Light to Medium from Too Faced Cosmetics to the inner tear ducts, also on my chin, a little bit on the bridge of my nose and onto my forehead. Then we're going to add some Hula Quickie Stick from Benefit Cosmetics to my cheeks, my jawbone, my forehead, and then also a bit to the sides of the bridge of my nose. Don't forget the bottom of your lip as well because that helps it make the illusion of having more plumped lips. Then I'm going to go ahead and blend all of that out. My favorite part about these angels looks that everybody brings out is definitely the hair and also how naturally beautiful everybody looks at the end. It can be a little drag queen if you go overboard, but trying to keep everything pretty light and just airy and natural looking. I do have a sun, so I'm trying to conceal that and I'm going to use something that's a little bit more pigmented. This is Shape Tape from Tarte Cosmetics in the shade Medium. I'm actually running out, so I need to get another one, but it's my favorite. And you can actually put it in the areas where you have fine lines to conceal it. So around your eyes, around your mouth, down the sides of your face, anywhere that you have really prominent wrinkles, this will help to mask those as well. You wanna give the look of perfection without the perfection. You know what I'm saying? And then before you add any powder, make sure there's no creasing, so smooth everything out really, really nicely. Then I'm gonna go in with my Laura Mercier translucent powder and do a light bake underneath my eyes because I will be doing some eyeshadow next using another product from Tarte. This is their Man Eater palette, it's one of my favorites. I'm just taking a medium shade, it's kind of like a champagne with a little bit of a peach undertone right to the inner corners of my eyes and then covering my entire eyelid. Now we are going to be smoking this out a bit so I'm gonna take a matte brown eyeshadow and just start to layer it, concentrating in the outer V. I love the way this looks because it almost transforms the shape of your eyes, giving it more of a cat eye. I have really round, bubbly eyes, so this really does transform my eyes so, so much. And I'm just going in with a darker shade and a flat tight brush to concentrate more in those corners and then taking a fluffy shader brush to blend out any of those harsh lines. Now you wanna make sure everything stays really soft and super sexy and natural. Next, I'm going to be quickly lining my eyebrows because they are super distracting and so thin. I like to use a product from Benefit called the Precisely My Brow Pencil in the shade number four with a really, really light hand because unfortunately I went crazy when I was younger and tweezed my eyebrows so thin the hairs do not grow back. So this pencil is definitely my friend. A lot of people have been noticing my new brow routine so if you guys wanna see that, don't forget to like and also let me know in the comments down below. I do read those, so be nice. Then I'm going to dust away all of that setting powder or that baking powder, and then I'm gonna move on to the colors of my cheeks. Now I'm using a matte blush from MAC. This one in particular is a soft pink blush that is no longer um, carried. It's actually part of a collection that was a few years ago, so sorry about that, but any light blush will work. This one here is a matte bronzer from Laura Mercier. Just taking a big, huge, puffy, 
powder brush and going in the hollows of my cheeks, adding color and also definition. Then taking one of my favorite highlighters at the moment from Lancome. This one has a little bit of a goldy tinge to it, so it's not silvery or iridescent. It's beautiful gold powder. It's so beautiful. Anastasia of Beverly Hills has one just like it called Soul Hollywood. But in my opinion, this one works so well without any water on your face or onto the brush. Next, I'm gonna go finish up my eyes using this Liner Noir from L'Oreal Paris. It's actually not as dark as I would have liked, but it worked out anyways because I probably should have used maybe a dark brown eyeliner because I wanna keep everything pretty neutral and soft, but it worked out, so perfectly fine. Just make sure that you keep that line as tight to your lash line as possible and only doing the top as well. So I'm going to apply a couple of lashes of Lash Paradise Mascara and then popping on my favorite lashes, 113 from Ardell Lash. And then moving on to my lips to complete this look, I'm using a matte lip gloss from Smashbox, which is kind of like their version of a liquid lipstick, except for it's not sticky at all, and it stays put all day. And then topping that off with a metallic lip gloss, also from Smashbox, and that's it. So hopefully you guys give it a try, and if you do, don't forget to tag me in your pictures because I would love to see how it looks on you. And then to finish off my hair, I'm just going to run my fingers through it, all the curls, to loosen them up and get them really nice and big. And the dry shampoo just adds texture and volume. And that's it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!